Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is a bit different. This is for my Ram 1500. Um, that's the latest PX6 head unit. It is from a company which is called Ocar. And this is gonna be available through uh, Car Trim Home. So this was sent to me to install it in my RAM and test it out. Actually, the quality of this unit, I was surprised how good of a quality it is. The company sends it in this box, which is well protected with the foam and everything, double boxed. So as usual, whoever knows my Toyota 4Runner videos, I always say, use the foam that comes with it. So this foam that comes on top of it, I highly suggest while you're installing it, put this under the head unit and then work accordingly or else you're gonna crack the screen. It is not fragile, but it's common sense while you're plugging the stuff you're gonna be cracking the screen if you um, press a lot. So let's jump to the um, harnesses, whatever are available. So basically this is the main harness that plugs in to the head unit right there. The video is going to be on a couple of parts. We're going to move to the truck while I explain individual harnesses, what they are. The unit comes, this model, it's a quad 2014, which doesn't come with a, with a rear cam. So that this package includes a, includes a 720 AHD rear camera. It's a full package. It's plug and play. You don't need to strip any wires. You don't need to do anything. So let's start with the unit itself. This will replace your fan knobs. You have uh, the hazard button and coming to the harnesses, that's the antenna, which plugs right there and then plugs to, the, to your truck. Always work from the truck to the head unit. There are multiple harnesses from the truck that are not gonna be used. These are the extra RCAs for audio, amp, um, auxiliary, extra cameras, and everything plugs in its place. You can't plug this here. So it plugs right there. The quality of the plastic is amazing. Every single harness has a specific job to do. Example, this activates the OEM USB in the truck, which goes with this harness. Same thing, this is the canvas, which connects um, here to the main harness. So I'm gonna plug one by one and then move to the truck to continue the install and show you how to take off the dash and definitely uh, using only these screws, I mean this, this Phillips screwdriver. So let me plug that in. Always check when you plug something, give it like um, a pull to see if it's coming off. Don't pull too hard. You're gonna cut the wires. So make sure gently pull it to see if it's plugged in really well. So this is what I used. That's all you need basically ratchet 
which is a seven. And then the prior, then the Phillips screwdriver and a T20. That's all you need. And once we finish plugging everything, we're gonna go to the truck so that we can, we can plug in the head unit and then see how it functions. This is an installed video of a Dodge Ram 2014 quad cab without the rear uh, OEM rear um, camera, backup camera. So there are different models. Everything is going to be included in the description at the description of the video. I have exclusive coupons as usual um, to support you and provide A1 customer service at all times. So, so while I'm plugging this at the same time, I'm making sure everything is plugged in and not coming out. This is the OEM USB. activator so I think this goes Okay, so this goes here. Those are the RCAs. And this was correct right there. Make sure while you're entering it, nothing is being bent because if it gets bent, it will. Be an issue, so give me a second. Let me, it's tough to be working with one hand. Let me try to put it in and then I'll continue. So as I mentioned, watch it so that it doesn't bend the pins. The one of the pins was uh, bent, so basically now it should be okay. Make sure the pin is not bent. So this plugs to the OEM USB, which is the shorter one. And then this plugs to the truck. So we're gonna move to the truck so we can install. Uh, have in mind, this, the camera comes with it, and you have to run the wire to the back of your truck so that you can have signal um, when, you know, plug it to the rear um, reverse line so that you can have, while you put in reverse, you would have the backup camera activated. So we're going to move to the truck and then install, um, try to see how to remove the main trim in the ram and uh, we'll go from there okay guys so now we're in the truck we're gonna start removing the trim this is how you start removing the trim just watch it so that you don't break anything always use 
that plastic buyer that, uh, you know, I have like millions of them. Same thing to the other side. Now we're going to remove the cup holder trim. And then we're gonna use the Phillips screwdriver. You have two of them right there. And then you're gonna use both your hands to remove the trim. And now use this, the ratchet, seven millimeters on, um, I'm sorry, the T20. And then you take off the top two. two screws and then there's one right there watch it so that it doesn't fall and that's how you pull from the bottom slowly without breaking anything remember it's plastic don't try to work it when it's cold outside because it's plastic it's gonna break Now that's out. <clears throat> We're gonna start removing the harnesses, the fan control unit. And try to remove everything which is on the trim. As I said, not all the harnesses are going to be used because XM, uh, which is built in on those trucks, doesn't work with the head unit. You can still use it through the app, but you can't use the XM satellite. So now you're going to have the seven millimeter with the ratchet. Remove the OEM head unit. Four of them. You have one, two, three, four. Now unplug all the harnesses. That's the XM. And the main harness, here's the trick. Don't break it. This is how you remove the main harness. There's a click. It clicks and then you just rotate it and comes out. That's how it is. You rotate it and then it comes out. Same way you're going to enter it in the in the head unit. This is my model that I have and I don't have a backup camera. So my backup camera is gonna be installed extra on top of it. So there you go guys, those are the harnesses and now we're gonna install um, the head unit, the Android head unit. Okay, so now since uh, we removed the trim, we're gonna install this right there so you have 13 screws to remove and one of the screws which is the middle one doesn't come on the android unit so you don't need it so let's start removing the screws again with a phillips screwdriver Make sure that um, you don't force anything so that the plastic doesn't break. I'm repeating that a couple of times because I've done this a lot of times and I know how much pressure do I need so that it won't break. And as you see, I'm using a soft, something soft under it so that um, it doesn't break. You can use a towel, you can use the foam that comes with it or anything you like. So now that the screws are almost removed, and by the way, this is the exact time that it takes 
how how long to install the head unit i don't cut my videos i try to um, edit them minimally so that for your convenience so that you'll be able to follow my lead and have zero issues while you're installing That's the 13th one. And after that, you're gonna take off the trim. Comes out. Like so. You don't need the fan anymore and the hazard because it's touch. So make sure you put the wires in, tie them up, and press gently. If you have a friend to help you out, that would be better since it's a big trim, but I mean, it's doable with one person. So now we're gonna put back the 12 screws. As I mentioned, the middle one, you're not gonna need it. And once the 12 screws are done, we're gonna move to the truck. We can plug in the rest of the harnesses. Again, always work from the from the uh, truck to the head unit. And uh, as you see, I highly suggest working with a magnetized a Phillips screwdriver so that you avoid stuff like that. So that's it guys 12 screws and uh, we move to the truck okay guys so now we're in the truck we're gonna position the gps usually what i do is i put the gps away from any metal i don't even stick it there's a sticker but you know um it's your it's your call i mean i can stick it uh if you want but i just place it in like so in the middle and then push it upwards so basically it stays so that the antenna is upwards and really you don't need to stick it so that's the gps <clears throat> and then make sure that those little tabs the plastic ones don't lose them don't break them those are vulnerable to bake so if you lose those uh, it's tough to get them from the dealer and they're expensive i mean not expensive but i mean why do you want to break it uh, if you don't need it, you know what I mean? So let's tidy up everything and then uh, we're gonna start plugging whatever we can and then always work from the truck to the harness. Those RCA caps, make sure you use them. That comes with the head unit so that it doesn't short anything. Okay, so guys, this is the camera that came with it. It's, as I said, 720 UHD. Uh, because in my truck, I didn't have the um, OEM rear camera, this plugs in right there. What it says, CCD in. And then it's gonna be routed using this. It's gonna be routed to, to the end of the truck. And this is gonna be plugged right there. That's how you have access to the camera. And that's how you add a camera um, to your Dodge Ram uh, Quad 1500, 2014, if it doesn't come from the factory. 
<clears throat> Perfect. So now we start plugging the harness. As we said, work your way out from the truck to the head unit. That's the OEM USB activator. As you see, there's a USB. Make sure everything is clicked and then uh, to plug it. This one is not used. That's the XM radio. Uh, you don't need it because this doesn't have an option. And now we're gonna put the GPS. This is the antenna actually, not the GPS. That's the uh, FM antenna. There you go. And now the main harness. There's a trick to the main harness, as I said. You have to open it first. While you're plugging it in, push it down. While you're plugging it in, push it down. That's how you do it. And then this is the extra USB. You can route it to the glove box. You can put it anywhere you want. I'm not gonna use it myself. You can put a, an extra USB stick, hard drive, anything you want. And as you see, I don't have any amps, so I'm not gonna be using any of the audios. Everything is OEM except the head unit. Tidy up the cable as, as much as you can. Make sure everything goes from the middle. Don't put it from the bottom because it won't pass the trim. So make sure everything is entered in the middle. Once you tidy it up, and you feel that you're good. See how I'm using the foam so that the screen doesn't crack, okay? This is important. And now you're gonna plug in the harnesses, the fan control, and everything else. Double check everything without missing any harnesses. That's the hazard. And try to put your hand on the bottom like that without pressing on it and then make sure everything is plugged in. Okay, so this is very important guys this is for the transmission um, there's a lock over there you have to take it out if you don't pull it out you can't take it off and when you put it in make sure you lock it because or else it's gonna come out and then your knob is not gonna work the transmission that's very important Okay guys, so now that everything is tidied, tidied up and then all the harnesses are uh, plugged in, as I said, use the foam and then make sure the tabs are aligning. And try to push on the sides on the plastic. Do not push on the middle of the, uh, do not push on the middle of the uh, screen. Always use the sides to push them in. Like that, like so. So everything is uh, in place. And basically make sure that the trim is flush. And then we're gonna reroute the rear camera, as I said, to trigger one when, when you're um, in reverse. This is gonna go all the way to the back so that um, it's gonna be 
useful when you reverse. Now that we're done, we're gonna put back everything together. You open the middle uh, glove box. Pass the trim. So put them back the way you took them off. And when, once we're done putting back everything, I'll give you a sneak peek of uh, the head unit. This is not uh, what the head unit does. This is the installed video. Uh, subscribe to my channel so that in the coming days, I'll show you some sneak peek on how to with the head unit. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of what the head unit does. It's CarPlay, Android, Android Auto. Um, it's one of the best on the market for the RAM. So CarPlay connects automatically once you log, you come into the truck. Uh, this is actually wireless CarPlay. And there you go. You have CarPlay in your RAM now, 2014, Android, CarPlay wireless. This is what it's it's all about. The quality is really good. You have touchless uh, fan, AC. You have Spotify. You have front camera. You have front view, you have side view, you have rear view. So it all depends what you want to install. Again, this is one of the best top of the line on the market as we speak. And the link is going to be in the description down below with exclusive coupons. Um, if you check my other videos, we I'm known to install Forerunner and Toyota products or head units, but this is a special request uh, from the company on the install and the sneak peek for the PX6 for 64 gigabytes for the Dodge Ram 1500 2010 2019. I think they're similar or 2014 till 2019. There you go, guys. Uh, enjoy. I'm going to be doing more of the, those videos because um, I like these Android units. The sky's the limit. Uh, have a good night. I hope you enjoyed the video.